In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a spreadsheet inside Google Docs that can be inputted into your uh, Creek Data website. So I'm going to click Create and then Spreadsheet. Now the first thing you'll notice when it opens up is that it's untitled. It's always best to give it a title straight away. Click on that title. I'm going to call this Creek Data for 1A or maybe Fall 12. Notice the title changes right there. And when I flip back to my Google Drive, that will be the name of the document. Now I've already got some data that I've typed in on another spreadsheet that I'm simply going to paste in here to make this process a little faster. So I've decided that it's month is my first column, then temperature, and then river flow. And this is the data that I wish to graph. So I'm going to highlight all of it. And I'm going to click on this icon right here called Insert Chart. It's going to open a wizard for me. The wizard has three tabs that we're going to move through, but I'm going to talk about this first tab. Right here it says, here's my data. It is in sheet 1, which is right down here at the bottom, and it is A1 through C6, and those are the cells that I've highlighted. I can change those by re-highlighting those if I'd like. Right here it said my first row was headers, and I can turn that on and off, and you can see how it changes the data. Because I have two columns of data, you'll see that I have two lines, and I've chosen to make a line graph. I could do a bar graph, either direction. Right here it says more, and there's a lot of other graphs that you can pick between. Notice that took me to the second tab, which is called Charts. So that's about all you see on the first and second tab. The third tab is where you really begin to customize the look of your chart. So right now I have it written chart title, which corresponds to this. It says chart title. And I'm going to say that this is my, oops, sorry about that. Not sure why it jumped over there. Let me come back over here and highlight this and say this is my month. Um, or Creek data by month. And notice that changes the name here. I can also change this to maybe be bright blue. Uh, my legend right now is on the right hand side. I can change that to maybe the top or the bottom, whatever I'd like to do. I think I liked it on the right. Uh, my font is Arial. Right now the background of my chart is plain, but I could change it maybe to a light gray to help it stand out. Down here you'll see axes, and right now it's set to the horizontal axes. Um, I can say that that is going to be the month. And then for the vertical, I can say that this is temperature or flow. And you see that there's a lot of other choices I can make in here to really personalize it and give it the look I want. So once I have that, I'm just going to say insert. And my my chart shows up right there inside. I can pick it up and move it somewhere else if I'd like. I can come in here and I can um, publish it, copy it, move it to its own sheet, whatever I'd like to do. So there you go. So now that I have my data and my graph, how do I get this into my website? Uh, there are a couple options, but I think this one is the easiest. First, I'm going to go back to my Google Drive, and remember that folder that I made with all the permissions? I'm going to take it, I'm going to slide it into that folder, just drag and drop. Notice as soon as I do that, at the end of this, it says it's shared, and it shows me the folder that it's in. So now everyone in my group can see it and edit it, and it's ready to go on the website. If I don't do this, when I go to put it on the website, no one will be able to see it but me. So now I'm going to head over to my website, and this is just a, a website that I have that I play with. Um, I'm going to go to one of my pages, and originally I'm going to... Um, click on edit, which is what I was in before, and then insert a spreadsheet. Now it knows what's in my Google account, so I'm going to find that spreadsheet. There it is right at the top. Click on it and say select. It asks me, do you want a border? Do you want a title? Yeah, yeah, it's all fine. And it clicks save. Now I can't see it in this mode because I'm still in the editing mode. 
as soon as I click Save, and then I can look at it like everyone else, and you'll see there's my data and there's my chart. If you don't like the way that looks, go back into Edit, and if you click on the spreadsheet, you will get the Settings menu again. You can make adjustments to that, left, center, or right aligned, in line with text, wrapped around text, or I can remove it and start over. So that's how you put it inside your website.